Hi and welcome back to another video of Medic Notes. This video is on steatorrhea. Steatorrhea is a term used to describe stools that are foul-smelling, soapy, bulky, and oily in appearance. It is quantitatively defined as stool fat greater than 7 grams of fat per day. Patients may describe the feces as difficult to flush down the toilet and very foul-smelling. Steatorrhea is typically associated with malabsorption syndromes. The more common conditions are thyrotoxicosis, coliac disease, inflammatory bowel disease, drugs like lipase inhibitors, alteration of anatomy of upper gastrointestinal tract post-surgery, cirrhosis of the liver, and Giardia lamblia infection. There are also less common associated conditions, like blocked bile ducts, lymphatic obstruction, Whipple's disease, biliary tree disease, including primary sclerosing cholangitis and primary biliary cirrhosis. All these are able to cause steatorrhea. For its mechanism, it is mainly due to an inability to break down, absorb, or transport fats. The increased fat load in the feces causes diarrhea by an osmotic effect. Let's look at the mechanism for specific causes. Pancreatic insufficiency is a luminal problem. When more than 90% of pancreatic function is lost, the enzymes that break down fats in the intestinal lumen, pancreatic lipase, are not produced in sufficient quantities. This means fats are unable to be broken down, and therefore, cannot be absorbed. Liver cirrhosis and biliary obstruction is another cause of steatorrhea. In cirrhosis, bile acids sufficient to break down fats are not produced by the ailing liver. Similarly, in biliary obstruction, bile is unable to be secreted into the intestine, therefore fats are not metabolized and are excreted in the stool, causing fatty stool. This flowchart shows how biliary obstruction leads to steatorrhea. As described earlier, Celiac disease is a mucosal problem, where there is problem in absorption of fat. Damage to the intestinal mucosa prevents the normal absorption of lipid molecules, so more remain in the intestine and are eventually excreted. Lymphatic obstruction. Problem in transporting fat. In rare congenital disorders, such as congenital intestinal lymphangiectasia, or after trauma, the lymphatic system may become blocked or compromised. The reassembled lipids are not able to be transported away from the bowel, and are excreted in the stool. That's all for this video. Thank you.